so uh, this is the next size of linear equations obviously in this linear equations if you have practiced the first exercise and uh, the same things you will find here only the difference you will find that the equations will not be given you directly in spite of that one language will be given to you and after cracking that particular language you have to frame the equations and then um, you have to solve that one obviously when you are going to solve that particular equations you will not find that much of difficult equations as that of the last exercise a very simple simple equations you will find and you have to solve that but making that equation is actually the problem here okay so now without wasting time let us start the questions the first questions which i have selected from your book that one is exercise 8b that one is exercise 8b the questions number 2 the questions number 2 the question says that Two third of a number. Yes, go through your book. Two third of a number is twenty less than the original number. That is, what is that original number? They are asking you find the original number. That two third of a number is twenty less than the original number. It is from exercise next one, exercise eight B, and I am solving questions number two. Let the let the original number. B X. Now, according to question, according to question, that two third of the number, two third of the number, is something less than this one. That is, X minus two by three of the number is less than the original number by twenty. It is given. It is given. That is, this is the new number, two third of this number, which is less than this one. That is, this minus this is equal to twenty. Now that equation has been formed. I have told you that you have to frame the equations after cracking the language, and then you have to solve it. And I have told you these things also that the equation so formed is not that much of difficult as that of the last exercise. Now solving this one is not at all a difficult one because three L is the same three X minus two X. So therefore, sign obviously should be there. So it will be three x minus two x by three will be equal to twenty. So therefore, x will be equal to thirty to the sixty. This is that original number. And two third of the number, if you find, it will be less than this sixty by twenty. You will may verify. Okay. So this is one of the questions from exercise eight b. Now the next questions. Now the next questions. The next questions which I have selected is question number six. Question number six says that the three numbers, three numbers it is given, which are in the ratio of four to five is to six. So let us suppose question number six. Let The numbers are four x, five x, and six x. Six x is the biggest one, and the least one is four x. Now, what it says that the sum of the largest and the smallest is equal to the sum of the third and the fifty-five. The sum of the largest and the smallest. So, according to question. Sum of the largest and the smallest is equal to sum of the third, that is five x plus fifty-five. I think so. Question number six, fifty-five. So equation has been formed. I told you that you have to make the equations. So by cracking the language, I am finding that this equation has been formed. Now let us try to solve these equations. So therefore. 6x plus 4x is 10x, and this 5x is coming this side. Will be equal to 55. So therefore, 10x minus 5x is 5x is equal to 55. So therefore, x will be equal to 
55 by 5 is equal to 11. So you have to find what is required to find here. You have to find x only. So x will be uh, you have to find the three numbers. So therefore the first number first number is equal to 4 into 11 44. Second number is equal to 5 into 11 is 55 and the third number is equal to 6 into 11 is equal to 66 and that will be your answer. Okay, better? Right? <coughs> Next question it will be after taking a jump, question number 6, a very small jump I am going to take. And now before starting that particular question, few things I want to discuss with you people. The discussion is about odd number and even number. Usually, uh, suppose if you are going to consider, if it is being asked from you to assume one even number. To assume one even number, so I am going to suggest you that always you should consider even number, even number not by taking simple by x. In spite of that, you have to take even number as 2x. Because if you are going to put here any value, any integer, negative or positive, any one, suppose any positive integer, suppose if I am going to take x is equal to 3, then it will be 6. Yes, an even number. If we take x is equal to 4, yes, again it will come as given number. So always we should, if it has been assumed, if it is required to assume an even number, always take 2x. Okay, and odd number, odd number, odd number means even plus Always if it has been asked to assume an odd number, you should take as 2x plus 1. Now suppose if it has been asked to assume 3 consecutive even number. What do you mean by the consecutive even number? Suppose first even number is 6. Then what are the 3 consecutive even number? 6, 8, 10. That is plus 2, plus 2. That is consecutive number means 2x plus 2 and 2x plus 2 plus 2 means plus 4. Similarly, suppose if it is been asked to assume 3 consecutive odd number. What the odd number you will have to consider? First odd number is 2x plus 1. The second odd number is 2x plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 and plus 2, 2x plus 5. So this way you will have to consider three consecutive odd numbers or even number. This is one concept. You should remember it. Okay. So now let us solve now let us try to solve few questions based on this even and odd numbers. For that, I have selected one question. For that, I have selected one question. That one is question number 9. Question number 9. Question number 9, it is based on odd number and question number 10, it is based on the even number. I am going to solve odd one, tenth, even one, you have to solve. The same things. Uh, find three consecutive odd numbers whose sum is 147. So three consecutive odd number. Let the three odd numbers, odd numbers are 2x plus 1, 2x plus 3, and 2x as I have discussed already. These are the three consecutive odd number. Now it is given that the sum of this three odd number that is according to question, according to question, the sum of this odd number, 
it is given as how much better it is given as 147 so write here 147 now equation has been framed i told you that you have to make any equations now solve it 2x 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 that is 6x plus 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 is equal to 147 so therefore 6x <coughs> is equal to 147 minus 9 147 minus 9 And one forty-seven minus nine is one thirty-eight. So therefore, x will be equal to one thirty-eight by six. And one thirty-eight by six, it is coming as twenty-three. So therefore, the required number, a required number. Should not take twenty three is the first number because you are finding it is looks wise odd. But no, the first odd number is two x plus one. So two into two into twenty three plus one. That is that is twenty three. Two is a forty six. Forty six plus one is forty seven. If it is forty seven, then what will be the consecutive one? The consecutive one forty seven, forty nine, and fifty one. So these are the three consecutive odd number: forty seven, forty nine, and fifty one. Forty seven, forty nine, and fifty one are the required odd number. If you going to sum this particular number, you will find definitely it will come as one forty seven. So therefore, these are the three. Numbers. Okay, now the next question it will be uh, another one. That one is a different one. Obviously, particularly this particular type of questions already we have done in the previous classes even also. By the way, let us try to solve one question. That one is based on a two-digit number. Yes, obviously in two-digit number. In two-digit number, I am going to suggest you should solve it by using two variables. You can solve it by single variables also. But if suppose even if twisted questions will come, and if we want to try to solve that particular questions by a single variable, you will face the problem. And what type of problems you will face? I am going to. I'll give you some questions, and there you will find yes, what is actually the problem. So better use two variables for using for solving a two-digit questions. Okay, now I am going to solve one questions from here. Two questions it is given in your exercise, and that one is question number eleven and twelve. I am going to solve questions number twelve, and I have told you that. You should use here the two variables. Anyway, let me solve one of the questions. <coughs> so, whenever any two-digit questions you will find, you should use the two variables. And how are you going to solve? Yes, for solving any two-digit questions, first of all, three lines you will have to write that questions number twelve. The digits in the tens place. Yes, this is a two-digit question. This particular three lines you will have to write. Compulsorily three lines. Let unit digit. Yes, first of all, let me explain about the two-digit questions. Say suppose any two-digit number. Suppose twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. This is a two-digit number. Nine is known as unit digit. Unit digit and two is known as the tens digit. This is digit. This is digit, and this complete one, two digit number. This is not a digit. Digit always should be the number from zero to 
ないです。And one more thing that in a two digit number the tenth digit should not be zero. If it is zero, it will be a single digit number. Okay, so it will be out of this number. The digit should not be in fractions or decimals or a double or triple figure number. Right. So whenever a two-digit number will come, and now the question is that why this is known as the tenth? This is known as the unit digit number. Why? 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 Because this particular number, if we going to split, you will find we are going to write ten into two plus one into nine. Because with two we are multiplying with ten. Because with nine we are going to multiply with one. So nine is known as the unit digits, and this is known as the ten digits. And if we are going to simplify this, twenty nine will come. And if we are going to consider this one as tens digit, then it is required to multiply with ten. It will going to be then ninety two. It will reverse them. So whenever one Two digit numbers will be there. You should assume this way. So this particular question, or this particular question, let us suppose let unit digit unit digit it is x and tens digit tens digit is equal to y. Therefore the number is ten y plus Whenever you are going to solve a two-digit number, this particular three lines compulsory is required to write. Sure, definitely. Okay, now any two-digit number, if you are going to solve, two conditions will be given to you to frame any equations. The what is the first equation condition? It is given here. The first condition is that the digit in the tens place. Is three times the digit at the unit place. So according to question, <coughs> according to question, the digit at the tens place is equal to three times the digit at the unit place. Consider this one as equation number one. Okay, beta. Now what is happening that if the Digit are reverse. That is twenty nine. If it will become ninety two, if the digits are reverse. So therefore, if the digit are reverse, then the new number, new number. If it has been reverse, then what will happen? Ten x plus y. It is opposite. Then what is happening? If the digit are reverse, the new number will be thirty six less than the original number. This number. Will be less than this original number. This is original number by thirty six. That is, this one is less now. This one is bigger one. This is one is the smaller one. That is, this minus this is thirty six. So therefore, ten y plus x. This is the bigger one, and the smaller one is the new number. Is how much less? This is less. Then the original number by how much? Thirty six. It will be equal to thirty six. Now simplify it. So therefore, ten y, ten uh, y plus x plus minus ten x minus ten y will be equal to thirty six. Now ten y minus y. Is equal to nine y minus nine x is equal to thirty six. Nine, if we take out common, then it will be y minus x will be equal to thirty six. So y minus x will be equal to thirty six by nine. Four nines are thirty six. Now equation number one is one says that y equal to three x. Put the value of y here. So therefore, it will be three x minus x is equal to Four. Right here, 
from where you are getting from 1. I am writing that side. So therefore, <coughs> 2x is equal to 4. So therefore, x is equal to 2. I have told you that this digit should be one of the number from 0 to 9. It should not be a fraction. It should not be double figure number or negative number. So I am finding x is equal to 2 is the number. So what will be the value of y? y is equal to 1. Equation number 1 says it will be 3x. So 2, 3 into 2 is equal to 6x. So what will be the number? Therefore, the number is 3y, sorry, what will be the number? 10y plus x. So 10 into y is 6 plus x is 2 which is equal to 62 is the number. Now they are asking you to verify the things. So how are you going to do the verification? Yes, first verification has already been done that x is equal to 6 is equal to 3 times of it. That one is, has been done. Now if it has been reversed, that is 62 minus 26. This is verification. And how much it is coming? It will be equal to take the subtraction 6, 12, 36. So therefore has been verified. So this is question number 12. Okay. Now I am going to conclude today's class by solving one more question. That one is question number 16. <coughs> I think it is clear. Question number 16. It is quite simple things. Question number 16. What it says, this is the last question, today's last question, the width of a rectangle is two-thirds of its length. A rectangle, this is a rectangle. This is length, this is breadth, width. The width is two-thirds of its length. Okay, it is given. So let us suppose, let length is equal to x. So width is equal to two-third of its length. Now it is given that its perimeter, it is process number 16, its perimeter is equal to 180 meter. What is the meaning of perimeter? Sum of the four sides. And the perimeter's formula is 2 into L plus P. So perimeter, perimeter formula I am going to write here first. 2 into length plus breadth. I think it is clear. And according to question, according to question, perimeter it is given as 180 meter. So perimeter is 180 meter. Is equal to 2 into length is x plus 2 third of x. Equation has been formed. Now you have to solve. So therefore 180 will be equal to 2 into 3x plus 2x is 5x by 3. Okay? So now solve these equations. So therefore, uh, just cross multiply that x will be equal to 180 into 3 by 5 to the 10 is coming here. x 0 0 cancel. 54. So x is coming as 54. So what is x here? Length. So right here length is equal to 54 meter and breadth is equal to 2 third of 54. And 2 third of 54 it is coming as 36 meter and that will be your answer. <coughs> Okay. 
so this is the last question from this exercise now next day we are going to solve the rest of the part of the questions okay beta so till then stay fit in the home and do the practice properly okay okay